secret. Thank you. Okay, we're walking down to the river because it rained a ton last night, more than we thought. And uh, so we're gonna see how blown out stuff is because I have a feeling it's gonna be quite difficult to fish it. Okay, we decided not to launch because the river was fairly blown out. So we made a move. We moved to a spot where there's another river that dumps into the river we were gonna fish that should hopefully clear it up a little bit. So that should give us a little bit more visibility down there. So we're gonna uh, not float. We're just gonna go swing some flies and see what happens and see if we can get a fresh fish down here. Okay, here's what we got going on today. We've, uh, we've been hearing some different reports about the hatchery steelhead run this, this uh, winter so far and that it's been pretty horrible. Not very many fish around and um, really, really bad reports. So what do we do? We decide to go fishing. So we're on the mission to find the last steelhead. And so uh, here we go. I think it looks good right there. Looks like good speed, good depth. I mean, the last fish that's in this river is probably right there in front of you. In a nice run right here, getting a good swing. It's got good, uh, good speed to it. I like it. Uh, we got Doug. Doug is uh, upstream right there, just fishing this one little soft pocket that's on the inside of that riffle. And uh, that looks like a good spot. And then, I don't know where, da oh there's David. David's walking back up, which means that he didn't find good water down there. I think it just slowed down too much. So, uh, finding water that's uh, walking speed on the inside of this faster water is gonna be the key for hitting some fish that are just coming in from the ocean. Looking for the last steelhead in the river and uh, I just saw one come up. Unfortunately, it was behind me, <laughs> right along the bank. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, you can sometimes wade out a little bit too far. I mean, it's pretty hard to hook it when it's behind you. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if maybe it'll slide upstream and maybe Doug will find it up up there. So Doug's, see Doug's right up this way. So maybe he can, maybe he'll run into that fish. That'd be pretty cool. So today throwing uh, Sage X, 13 foot seven weight, and uh, have a 550 grain uh, Rio Skagit Max line on. And on for the tip, using a, uh, a medium mo tip. And this one just has uh, five feet of, of the floating uh, that transitions to the five feet of T11. And using a, um, using a fairly good size, uh, Fly that's marabou pink and purple um, something that has a lot of flash in it water's a little bit off color about two feet visibility so trying to use something that uh, is gonna stand out a little bit so we saw fish roll we're hoping uh, hoping to get it it's the last steelhead the last steelhead out here so hopefully hopefully we hook up hey you know that video where you ordered the sea back pizza it's too bad they don't deliver out here I know I love sea back pizza no way no way! Yes! Yes! Now we will be fueled to catch the last steelhead. You guys got everything you need? Okay, we're hiking in. 
Man, it's always a little sobering when you hike through the woods and you come across uh, something like this. Massive clear cut, big machinery down there. And we're really close to the river at this point. And uh, I think all we have, this small stand of trees right here, I think that's the only buffer between between the river and um, and the clear cut. So this uh, maybe this is why there's only one steelhead left in the river. Yeah, we're uh, in the middle of nowhere right now, hiking in, and hopefully it's worth it to get into this spot. It's quite a bit of a hike. We've been at it for a while, and it hasn't been easy. But I think we're, uh, we're pretty close to the water here. And we're lost. How long have we been hiking? You think an hour and a half? Or like 15 minutes? <laughs> Something like that. But um, now it's hailing, which I don't know if that's better than it just absolutely downpouring. But we're, uh, we think we're getting close. But uh, we also thought that quite some time ago. If this camera's found in the woods, tell our families that we love them. Oh, we think we think we're getting close. Oh, water, 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 water! Please don't be brown. Here it is. There we go. This is a river. Yeah. We're gonna leave Doug at this spot right here and then uh, David and I are gonna go to where the fish are. <laughs> Looks like David's been uh, fishing hard over here. What's up, dude? You uh, you ready to take off? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's roll out. Yeah, we've been following this uh, little four-wheeler trail for a bit, and it's been going the wrong direction the whole time. Sun will be down about 4:30, so we're the guys are ahead of me. We found that down the edge of the clear cut that we saw earlier, but we think we're at the other other end of the clear cut. So we're going to make our way on the edge and try to stick in the in the tree so we're not having to hop over yeah, wrong way okay plan uh, plan C D E okay we found our way up to this clear cut again we've been uh, we've been hiking for at least 45 minutes and uh, it's impossible to to get through this stuff we, we know that's the direction we need to go we're hoping we can can get there we found that the clear cut has uh, the path of destruction right here laid out for us. One of the guys in the group recommended that there's unused transportation right here. You know, if we were desperate and it was getting dark, but uh, I think the consensus was that was a bad idea. But boy, that would be fun. We've hiked through this massive clear cut. We're almost to the other side, which at the beginning of the day, that's where we saw that machinery. And uh, I really appreciate the guys that I'm with today. We're not there to the truck yet, but we got, at least we know where we're at. And uh, we have backup battery power. We have a headlamp. Yeah, we're on the road. Feels good to be on this road, doesn't it? <laughs> we beat sundown by about I don't know what half hour maybe it's yeah it's it's gonna get dark in a hurry so we've got a little bit more to go and we're rolling out and back to the harbor uh, I don't know if we should feel defeated because we did not hook the one steelhead that was in the river we even saw one steelhead, which is kind of funny because we had been talking about all day about how we were fishing for one fish, and uh, we actually saw it. Uh, it mocked us, but uh, but we'll be back. We'll, we'll be back out here when there's more fish around. But sometimes it's nice just to 
get out of the shop, get on the water, practice some casting, and uh, just have some good time, good times with good people. Subscribe to our channel. You can see all the other adventures that we'll have coming up. We have some big surprises coming up too. Big surprises.